Hi, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the straight razors I use to shave. Uh, pretty much regularly, it's all I use. I have also a double-edged razor, and of course no, normal razors, five blades, that I use every once in a while a bit. I use uh, straight razors almost exclusively now, since I've started using them about uh, six months ago. Uh, so I have I have six in my rotation that I shave with. I have another one that I don't use because it uh, needs to be restored. Um, most of them are antiques that I have. I have one new one. I'll show you that one later. But uh, first up, this is a uh, Genco Gold Seal, and uh, this right there is the logo Genco. Gold seal, you can see it right there. Um, this is made by a company called, well, Geneva Cutlery Company, and it changed its name a couple of times. Eventually, it became uh, Genco. And so this this razor th was produced uh, between 1936 and 1965. And so my next one, I've got here. I don't know much about this razor. I bought it. Uh, on eBay, it's an antique. WPP, B, T, and S company. 317 West Banks Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, and on the other side, it said Uncle Sam. So that's literally all I know about it. Um, I have no idea who, who the company is besides those initials. Uh, nothing turns up online really about that one, so I don't know much. Uh, this next one here is pretty neat. And this is by Louder Young and Company. And this dates to about 1941. Um, in Germany, all these steel makers were sort of forced to do. <laughs> Uh, blades and and razors and daggers and knives and things for for the German uh, army during World War Two, and so you can see here number thirty seven Tiger. Lodger Young and Company, Solingen, Germany. When you see how it's it's very thin compared to this, the Genco here. So now this one used to look like the Genco. But now over years of use, uh, because people use these for a lifetime, they don't ever break really. And when they do, you can repair them. So what happened was, this one was just ground and honed and honed and honed and ground so much that it became this, this skinny. And it's a little bit uneven. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at the blade, it's sort of like a, almost like a butter knife. And so I don't shave with this one too regularly. Sometimes I'll, I'll skip it. But, um, and it's also hard to strop. But I like it just because uh, it's an oldie. This one here is my only sort of new contemporary razor. There we go. So you can see silver Prima steel, and it's an Ebenholtz. This is the Dovo Ebony razor, and these scales are wood. All the other scales that I'm going to show you are plastic. And so this is a pretty average razor uh, made by Dovo. And um, it shaves well. It's all right. Um, I paid $110 for this thing, I probably shouldn't have, because um, all my other razors I got for about $25 each. And they shave just as well or even better. This next one I got, um, this is sort of my mystery razor, besides the other one. Um, I know even less about this one, I don't even know who makes it really. It's a, it's an American made, I think. Um, Right here, it's, there's a little logo, it's really hard to see, it's the Solinger Razor Works, fully warranted, that's all it says. And there's nothing else on the other side. Uh, the balance is kind of off on this one, 
Um, and so in that way, it's a little bit cheap. You can, it feels cheap. The scales are really, really thin. Um, but it shaves, and it works well. Um, I just wish I knew more about this one. This next one here is my favorite. This is uh, the Geneva Cutlery Co Corporation. It's the same as the Genco, but this is a, a little bit older, and it's a lot more solid. Those Genco gold seals were sort of uh, the cheap versions. And let me see when this one was. This was sometime made sometime between 1902 and 1935, and most likely between 1902 and 1928. Um, so the scales are here are uh, bakelite, but they're really solid. And this thing is heavy. It's like a it's like an axe. Um, and let me show you the logo here. Geneva Cutlery Corporation. And it's got a pyramid logo. New York, USA. And so this one and the, the previous, the, the gold seal, same manufacturer, both made in the United States, um, very high quality. These razors are sort of sought after because they, they, they're always good. And they hone well. And this thing will cut through your hair like a wildfire. It's ridiculous how well this thing shaves. I love shaving with this. And so I'm going to try to do a video of me shaving with this one um, soon. And those are my six razors that I shave with. There you go.